Hey guys, you're still here with me, Lisa, and our international correspondent, Stevie Wong, on the VIP ticket to 2011. So we've just given a long list of movies to look forward to in 2011, but I guess it's not just movies that we should be keeping tabs on. That's right. Actually, there's some actors and actresses who I want to introduce you to who I think are also going to have a breakout year in 2011. This year's most impressive resume goes to the talented Andrew Garfield, whose varied roles in the Red Riding trilogy, British drama Never Let Me Go, and Oscar frontrunner The Social Network solidified his star status. Is there anything that you need to tell me? Your actions could have permanently destroyed everything I've been working on. We have been working on. Do you like being a joke? Do you want to go back to that? Mark! Coincidentally, those strong performances convinced filmmakers to cast him as Spidey in the upcoming Spider-Man reboot. Rooney Mara successfully battled Freddy Krueger in the Nightmare on Elm Street remake, nearly stole the social network from Jesse Eisenberg. I need to do something substantial in order to get the attention of the clubs. Why? Because they're exclusive and fun, and they lead to a better life. And is poised to become an even bigger star in 2011 when she emerges as the girl with the dragon tattoo. A lot of the stars on this list appeared in multiple movies in 2010, but Jennifer isn't one of them. Her only role as Reed Dolly in Winter's Bone was undoubtedly one of the greatest breakout performances ever, and she's certain to land a well-deserved Academy Award nomination for her harrowing performance. I'll find him. Girl, I've been looking. I said I'll find him. She's also slated to star as Mystique in X-Men First Class. 21-year-old Nicholas Holt has come a long way since the 2002 romantic comedy about a boy. I had a hunch about you, sir. You did? Yes, sir. I had a hunch you might be a real romantic. After appearing in a single man in Clash of the Titans, Nicholas will next be seen playing the character Hank McCoy, AKA Beast, in the upcoming X-Men First Class and in the Mad Max sequel in 2012. Emma Stone has become a critic and fan favorite over the course of the past few years thanks to memorable co-starring roles in Superbad, The House Bunny, and Zombieland. Let me just begin by saying that there are two sides to every story, and this is my side, the right one. However, in 2010, she got the chance to headline her first feature, Easy A, a surprisingly smart comedy which earned big bucks at the box office, and it star a Golden Globe nomination for Best Actress in a Motion Picture, Musical, or Comedy. You don't think so. Alex Pettifer's breakout role was that of teenage M16 spy Alex Ryder in the 2006 Stormbreaker. Beautiful people get it better. That's just the way it is. After starring in the upcoming Beastly, Pettifer is gearing up for the lead role in the Steven Spielberg produced I Am Number Four. This model turned actor is blossoming from teen idol to so much more with feature roles and even a producing credit in store for him this year. I'm not leaving. And that, my friends, is our look at what 2011 has in store for you in the world of movies. That's right. We looked at sequels, hot new movies, and actors that are going to be big in 2011. Which is going to make 2011 huge for all of us. But I have something now that is going to make this show even better. Uh, are you thinking about what I'm thinking? I am. I'm so excited. Yes. All right. It is now time for giving. Burgers. We're not giving away burgers. Why not? Because it's not part of the contest. No, because we have something that they want. Oh. So guys, if, if you want to win some exclusive movie merchandise, oh. make sure to sign on to Facebook.com slash Star Movies VIP Access, and you could win some. Now remember to sign to our Facebook page, because if you snooze, you lose. That's absolutely right. Now it's time for us to bid farewell. Hope you guys have an amazing year. Have fun at the movies. I'll be seeing you real soon. Bye. Bye. Speaking of which. I'm trying to watch the movie, so really you shouldn't talk in situations Sorry. like this. Yeah. Um, I think I've just been caught because I've been trying to stalk you for the past couple of months. What are you doing in the United States? <laughs> LA is awesome. How you doing? Hey! What's up? You're cute. Okay. 2011 as their breakout year. <laughs> now let's make it a little bit funnier with the uh, most anticipated the comedy of the year. <laughs> la 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 Tiger Bell. That's the cat, isn't it? What? Gargamel has a cat who hunts the Smurfs. I don't even remember that there was a Gargamel. Oh my god, I need to leave the theater right now. Now you better sign on, because if you lose, you snooze. That's right, honey, that is right. Right? You want an if, right? No, but it's a snooze and lose. It's not lose and snooze. <laughs> That's so smart. Because I, I said right. the word if. You go from there and it won't we'll end that thing. <laughs> He's crying. <laughs> All right, got it. So make sure to log on to Facebook because if you snooze, you lose. That's right, but your eyes, Harry, can you come? He needs a tissue. He's got tears. <laughs>